Okay, um, what's something here? It says, um, what can you offer to assure the vast majority of Sorry, the vast majority of particularly interested, if not active, working class people like myself. Not that you will actually make the effort to ensure that MPs are not of the usual middle class university or parents for unpaid internship or PR company media group, MP media group. I think there's a real problem in that um, if you want to stand for Parliament, mm -hmm. There has been, certainly over the years, a bias to having white, middle-class people who've been to private school, you know, Eton, mm -hmm. all of that kind of stuff, or their lawyers. I think that's changing. I think at the last election, you got many, many more people elected from all sorts of different backgrounds. Yeah. And even um, Nadine, one of the MPs that took part in Channel 4, I think she said in the, one of the programmes she's got no A-levels, no O-levels. She'd been from a council estate mm -hmm. herself. There's, it's changing. Yeah. It's just taking a long time to change, and I think we, you know the pace of change needs to increase. But again, it was really good that in the dean's program, yeah. she met with um, one of the residents, a twenty-year-old guy, who got a bit of a drug issue, and, but she thought he's got, he's really sparky. Let's see if we can get him involved in politics, and mm -hmm. he's thinking of standing as a local councillor now. So it does take. It takes two, mm -hmm. doesn't it? You know, it, it means you've got to sort of sometimes persuade people and hassle people and say, come on, why don't you get involved in politics? Yeah, and, open their horizons. Yeah, and try and persuade them to get involved. But at the moment, people look at politics on TV and it's such a turn-off <laughs> that I think a lot of people get, you know, why should I want to do that? Um, also, why do you think these MPs have... Oh, sorry, not these MPs. Why do you think some MPs have not tried to attempt to understand the culture of um, daily scrutinism or legalisation towards anything watch, like Channel 4 has approached them now so what do you think will happen from there? How do you think, um, not just yourself, well obviously because you've actually lived that little life for the week and that, mm -hmm. but what do you think other MPs are thinking now? Do you think they will like take on board more of what's going on? Yeah I mean I really hope that you know one of the results of the programme is that is that more MPs might try and take a week out from mm. Westminster and their constituencies and go and get in-depth into something in the way that, that the four of us had a chance to do. Because, you know, we, I, of course I knew that people had mould. Of course I knew that a lot of mm -hmm. the problems with the BNP existed. I get a mail bag full of this in my own constituency, but there's a really big difference between reading a letter about someone's mould or going to visit the mould for 20 minutes to actually having a bath or a shower mm -hmm. surrounded by mould. And that's the difference. That what this did was it brought to life just how mm. serious and upsetting some of those issues can be. And I think although MPs know about a lot of this, because of course we mm. do, we don't actually have to live with it. And living with it takes you to a different level of understanding. So I think it's mm. a really good idea.